Well, hello, and how are you today? I'm hoping that this video finding everybody in good health and in good spirits. For those of you who are returning viewers or one of my wonderful subscribers, so wonderful to see you again. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Kate, and I love all things tarot, but in particular, I love political tarot. And I like to pull the cards every once in a while when a question of politics come into into my brain and I have no idea where this originated from it's something that I just came up with the other day um, and it hasn't left my mind since and the question was whether or not Tucker Carlson the Fox News um, opinion host has any presidential aspirations and I don't know where I got that idea but it was one of those things that kind of stuck in my brain for a minute and then it keeps coming back so I had to pull the cards on it just had to pull the cards on it so my question to the cards is does Tucker Carlson hold any aspirations to be president of the United States does Tucker Carlson hope to be president someday? Why not? They had a reality television star. Why can't they have an opinion host? No reason why not. So let's put this out there. The cards up. And the first card in the draw is the world, the world. And this is about completion, wholeness, accomplishment. Um, it can be the end of one phase and the start of another, but really it is this, you know, coming to fruition of a great deal of things. It's the last card, of course, in the major arcana before the cycle starts again. And it is crossed by the Three of Swords. This is a card of heartbreak, betrayal, sorrow, depression, breakup. So what I see in these cards is a very accomplished man who is not satisfied with what's going on in his life. In the Conscious Thoughts Department, we have the Page of Cups. Now, all pages are messengers. We'll pull that page's message at the end of the reading. But Page of Cups is very uh, idealistic, very innocent, very curious, very creative, has a strong sense of intuition, and has surprising insights and often refers to good news. And in the subconscious thoughts, we have the High Priestess. High Priestess is about secrets, mystery, subconscious, duality, um, deep inner wisdom, and information that is yet to be told. So it's kind of an idea. And Tucker Carlson, and along with many, many other journalists and media figures, really, I think, are represented by these two cards in that they like to know the contents and the secrets. They like to know what is the mystery? And they have the curiosity and the insight to look into them. Now, for the near past position, we have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is about love and harmony and emotional uh, balance and coming together of two things, coming together of a uh, partnership and uh, it can be very di different elements that come together and kind of have this uh, truce between them. And this one makes sense. The future, near future position is the Six of Cups. This is about, you know, kind of childhood, innocence, friendship, joy, it can be gifts, generosity, family, but it's also about nostalgia. And nostalgia, I have said it a hundred times on this channel, is 
one of the most dangerous emotions because this is the longing and the wish to return to a time that never existed. You know, it's a time that lives only in your imagination. You can be very nostalgic for many things. And I, I'm not a frequent watcher of Tucker Carlson, but I've seen snippets over the years, ever since John Stewart ate his lunch. And that was one of the things that comes, it is this advocacy for a world that never existed. It didn't exist in the 50s, which is what he seems to be harking back to when, you know, women and minorities, etc., knew their place. And mediocre white men ruled the world. How he sees himself. Oh, this is the card of grievance, right? This is misery and poverty, despair, being shut out, um, a sense of loss, um, hardship, poverty. Now, he's a very wealthy man, comes from a very wealthy family, but he does have this aggrieved that he's been shut out, that he's being kept away. You know, they won't let him in the church and he is walking barefoot through the snow in the middle of a storm and nobody will comfort him and nobody will uh, open the doors to him and let him in. He's the perpetual outsider. And I really do think that this um, describes very much of his personality. How others see him. King or the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is a uh, very tenacious, very driven energy. Um, it's got action and force and push and drive and is very courageous. And I do think he does uh, have a lot of drive. I think a lot of it's misdirected, but that would be my politics. You know, I'm not a particular fan of Vladimir Putin. I'm certainly not a fan of Oban and all the people that others that he seems to have a great admiration and adoration of. But once again, that's a difference in politics. I happen to like democracy and he likes authoritarianism. Hopes and fears position. We have the five of wands. Now five of wands, all fives are about conflicts. So this is no different. But the five of wands is this very juvenile aggression. It's about bickering and conflict and competition and, and disagreements and tension and strife. And there's very much, if you just have to watch five minutes of his any of the programs that he's put out or any of the comments of it. And it is this very petulant, juvenile kind of energy. He does not do, you know, deep dive, subtle, nuanced uh, analysis of anything. It is just this thumb sucking sense of desperation that we have. As you saw with that Five of Pentacles card, you know, that whole idea that I have been shut out. I am being picked upon. Nobody will let me come in out of the cold. And for the final card, the final outcome in this reading, we have the page of swords. It makes our second page in this reading. And again, we will look at that. And this is the page that's about ideas and truth, communication, enthusiasm, um, often about curiosity and all people involved in media, once again, they want to know what's behind the secret door. They want to know what are the secrets that the high priestess hold. And they are very good at uh, digging them out. They're very tenacious about getting them. And so, yes, that tenaciousness that we see with the Knight of Swords, and once again, it's reflected here with the Page of Swords. And um, he does have a great deal of enthusiasm for what he does. Don't particularly think he's interested in the truth, though. That you know, swinging of the the page of the page of swords is swinging the the sword of truth. And I don't think the truth is what Tucker Carlson is after. Now we had two pages in this reading. First one was the page of cups, and the page of cups message comes up the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is often known as the Miser's card. And this is about a need for security and absolutely holding on to what you have and making sure that nobody takes it from you and that it stays with you and 
it is very much this idea of living in a universe that is not marked by abundance but a universe of scarcity and if I have then you must not have and if you get something you're taking away from me that kind of uh, poverty of spirit that just is so corrosive so corrosive the second page that we had in this reading was the page of swords and the page of swords is about communications etc and that page message is death and death marks a transformation and the end of an era uh moving on to something the end of one phase and going into another so back to the uh the shadow card shadow card the the energy that underlies this entire reading that's the foundation of this reading the kind of the bedrock of this reading is the seven of swords and seven of swords is about deceit theft dishonesty double dealing of lies yeah no kidding cards are listening cards are listening does tucker carlson hold presidential aspirations my take on what I've got here in front of me today is that no, he does not. Um, first of all, I don't think, I think he's very comfortable in the position that he's in. He likes sitting on the sidelines, chucking rocks at everybody else, but he has not got what it takes to get into the ring and stand for something himself. Very good. He's another one of these people that is always the critic but never puts himself in a position where he can be do something that he's criticized so i think that's his personality i i basically don't think he has got the guts uh, that it takes to run for political office and i mean any kind of political office um as much as i dislike some uh conservative politicians i do give them every one of them credit for having at least put their their uh name in the, the ring, throw the hat in the ring and, and get going. Um, and I don't think, I think Tucker Carlson is too much of a, a sideline uh, couch potato to ever, ever put himself out at the end of the row. He doesn't strike me as a particularly brave man. So that is my reading for today. For those of you who are the more eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that I have the guidebook for the Alleyman's Tarot. Mine just came in today. I was so excited. I will be uh, doing a review on that a little bit later once I've decided what my deck is going to look like. And that is the joy of the Alleyman Tarot because you really kind of build your own tarot deck. So I will be talking to you later. Um, soon. If you have any questions for the cards, um, my email is down below and if it's a general reading, general cards, general question, I'll be more than glad to answer it. I just want to put out, this has not been a problem for me, but I understand it has been for other readers. I do not do private readings. So if you're approached by somebody saying that, you know, I'm willing to do a reading for you in exchange for cash, I don't do them, period. So whoever that is getting a hold of you, it's not me. Please report them. They're scamming you, okay? Uh, like I said, has not been a problem with me, but I understand that it is becoming a growing problem for other readers. So on that note, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.